we are going to play the video of the day. Um, what am I doing? Let me find it. I was yes, so yes, please continue to help us to share. Yes, we really, as adults, as parents, we 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 we, we need to stop talking. We need to stop like. By now, we should be saying, what is it that we need to do right now to fix the situation? That should be, the, that's what should we, that should be what we will be talking about. What's all this uh, argument going on? They only seceded from our secular union. They, have, they seceded from our secular union. And so if they have seceded from our union and the other three blocks uh, go to, uh, you know, uh, the solemn assemblies to repudiate the constitution that bring everybody to their spaces. You know, we have no union. We have no union. Let those who will come crying tomorrow listen now that under that false claim, we are saying we have no union. And those who are choking in that imposition, that, those who are choking in that fraud, are not going to just, uh, you know, wait to be killed to the last person. And so, while we... We, we in zooming down to the uh, Labour Party and their candidates. Again, we have mentioned before that the first, the first uh, position of uh, that Labour candidate, uh, uh, Peter B, was that the engine of the Nigerian vehicle was knocked. He agreed with us that uh, that engine is that constitution, and that unless we fix it, we shouldn't be looking for driver. Really, if a vehicle has a knocked engine, is it driver that will solve the problem? Even if that driver claims to be some kind of a mechanic, if the engine is knocked, it's not the matter. It's not a. It, it is not in that state that you begin to load young people who are in a hurry, who are facing the danger that might catch up with them if they don't move from where they are now. They are looking for how to escape, and you are loading a vehicle that you know you are you are you already acknowledge that the engine is knocked. That's the kind of thing that is going on in that campaign of uh, let me the excellent driver take you to the greater destination. And so for the young people uh, who have been uh, so invited to believe that uh, this excellent driver is going to take them to a greater destination, we uh, Nina is telling you, Nina is inviting you to please come. Let us define the change we seek. We know you want change. You want, you want an end to corruption. You want an end to the humongous cost of governance. You want an end to impunity. You want an end to decayed infrastructure. You want an end to denial of opportunity, uh, the way we saw in the constitution all these years. And so if that is the, if that is what you want, how are you going to obtain it? It's not by it's not by emotions that it will come, because the candidate that uh, is coming to you know, the candidate you are following to try to get it. He hasn't provided any kind of answer. No. The first, having acknowledged that there's a, the engine is knocked, he then when we when we responded to that uh, claim, he then says uh, makes uh, some kind of U-turn to say, really, constitution is not the problem. Constitution is not the reason we are where we are. You know, uh, it was a kind of a shock, but I, I think his handlers were looking for some kind of answer to our own uh, contention, and then we responded further to say, no, this is why he says it's bad leadership. Please, the young people and the rest of the country, all the problems you see, let us give you one formula by which you can begin to approach the solution. That formula is, uh, we call it the WWW interrogation. Why is this so? There's corruption. Why is this so? Ninas is able to point you to the sections of the 1999 Constitution that creates the corruption. And the section that, uh, you know, protect the beneficiaries of grand corruption, section 308. The section that gives the spare key to the heads of the executive branch, the president and the governors, you know. And the section that says, they, 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 that uh, absorbs government of responsibility towards you. So between all of that, uh, quite apart from the 68 items of, exclusi uh, of exclusiveness, we also talk about the, the cost of governance, the share cost of governance. It is not by going to uh, wear only one shoe or one trouser. The 36 states that Nigeria have been fractured into is the bleeding, is the, that is the main, uh, you know, uh, uh, artery for the bleeding of Nigeria. The same as the four local government areas that have to be financed every month. Where is the money coming from? Who is producing what? And 
a, a new president is not going to dismiss the 36 days to say, oh, we're not going to give it. The bureaucracies, the bureaucracies of those 36 days, but there's governor, there's House of Assembly. Every one member of that House of Assembly had his own convoy. The council chairman, uh, everybody is a, a government unto himself, 774. So we have oh, oh, close to over 800 governments that have to finance, be financed every month. Whereas at the time we were a federation, we had only four units. And uh, we are still looking back with nostalgia to what was achieved in Awolowo's time, in Emma Obara's time, in Amadoubele's time, in that uh, in those uh, three regions of the time, even then in uh, Midwest. And so we were just saying that uh, the, 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 the humongous cost of governance is flowing from that uh, constitution. The WWW uh, uh, you know, interrogation I'm talking about, why? If you ask the first why, you get the first sort of answer. Subject that first answer you get to another why. Okay, there's corruption all over the place. Why? You see the first thing. But why is it allowed to be so? By the time, by the time you ask that question like three times, you are going to get to the root of the problem because you will then begin to see that it was not we, the people, who wrote down those rules of engagement and that it is the people who are hoping to benefit from that corruption that wrote it. It's the people that were hoping to benefit from the impunity that wrote it in. It's the people that uh, were... were, were eager to seize the economic assets of other people that wrote the exclusive list. It's people that want to point guns at other people for all times, that uh, put uh, security, arms and ammunition on that exclusive list. And so, if you, if you, by the time you ask the first why, and then you come to the second why from the answer you got, and then the third why, you will immediately see that uh, it is coming from this, and it is because, uh, you know, it, it was inserted there. Then you now see who inserted it for what purpose. You know, so I would think that uh, we 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 go from there to where the same candidate, having said that uh, leadership is a problem, not a constitution, they, uh, we 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 say for certain that 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 leadership is coming from that constitution. If that if the Labour Party and their candidate who want a debate on the subject, we will be more than glad to come to shed light on that position. It is that constitution that is responsible for the bad leadership we have. Why do we have a central electoral body in a federation called Niger in the Federation of Nigeria? That people will sit in Abuja and decide all of what will happen that will produce that leadership. Where are we going to get the competence from? Because it is a matter of horse trading. We saw it happen even in the primaries uh, for which uh, the candidate left PDP. And so if, if the bad leadership is coming from that same constitution, if the corruption is coming from that constitution, if the impunity is coming from that constitution, everything we can complain about coming from that constitution, why don't we turn off the tap? Let us go turn off the tap. And so we don't want, initially, we were going to believe that it may just be a matter of uh, ignorance. But progressively, we are beginning to think it has more to do with some level of dishonesty. It may not be with the candidate, but uh, the people, are, he is not a lawyer. And so there must be some lawyer, even if he's not the one to come to do the debate. Let there be a team from uh, that, uh, uh, candidate, from that uh, campaign that can come. Let the obedient movement people come to listen so that we can explain to them exactly what. Because they're going to be not only disappointed, they're going to, they, they're going to feel defrauded when they find out that the people who are loading them into an engine, an, a vehicle that has no engine, when they, when they get to find out that those people knew that there was no engine in that vehicle and yet loaded them at the time they were running away from the danger uh, of a full invasion and all kinds of other calamities that are already converged, it won't be, it won't be, it won't be funny. It won't be, a, 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 it will be a sorry sight to behold the day those young people find out that they have been uh, misled, they have been deceived. And so we just want to let uh, everybody know that uh, this is the time to stop and uh, sort out that problem. When, when we press further, the same candidate now says that, oh, there's the 2014 conference report. I'm going to, uh, let, 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 me, let me read uh, the tweet that was sent out from uh, North Carolina. He said, the review of the constitution will be part of the overall restructuring Nigeria's desire. It will entail legislative, executive, and judicial actions. Ultimately, the Nigerian people will decide. This is meaningless, totally meaningless, because uh, the 
mandate of national assembly uh, does not extend to constitutional making our sovereignty remains with us we elected those who went to national assembly for the purpose of making laws under the constitution we have made we have not made any constitution that's the contention anybody who's not willing to listen to that contention now is going to learn on the street the meaning of constitution constitution means simply means what it says to constitute under what terms at what point did the yoruba submit their sovereignty and their people of 60 million into this uh, union under what terms at what point did they just submit their land and their waters and their people into this union that now give over their assets to people who are not there who do not particularly wish them well under what terms at what point did we all submit our our right to secure ourselves to people who are bent on killing us off like we have seen because that's what that's exclusive that exclusively that has police and arms and ammunition and military under the exclusive control of the very people who are you know on an ethnic cleansing onslaught against us we never agreed to such we are saying it loud and clear to you we have gone everywhere we can go to to tell those who need to know because it's going to become problematic those who will go to that election and say they have now won to come and govern go again and see on youtube the title uh, a youtube a, a broadcast from ninas that says the winner of 2023 will find no nigeria to govern it may look simplistic. We're not threatening anybody. We're just telling everybody what they need to know. Because we are in contact with the people who are complaining, the people who are fed up, the people who are ready to do anything to save their lives. Because it's, it's now their lives. Their assets have been taken for over three decades, four decades, five decades. Now their lives is required of them. The revolution to do away with the old order already succeeded let nobody kid anybody because the people are thinking that uh election that, that, that the revolution is building up no that revolution it was it was a referendum on the old order it was a referendum on unitarism it was a referendum on corruption it was a referendum on that constitution itself that young people would uh, do the kind of thing they did to basically disown the two parties that have been passing nigerians among themselves you know since 1999 the apc and pdp have been succeeded in that revolution because except somebody wants to deceive himself it is a rejection of the old order no there's no other way to explain it having succeeded in that revolution how do you then bring the dividends of that how do you convert that success into concrete outcome that will bring a new life to you we invite those who uh, you know executed that revolution to come forward for us to work out how their demand that revolution can demand an end to that constitution that was what the NSAS people refused to do and that was why their revolution ended in fiasco if the ones who are doing pvc revolution now refuse to direct that whole energy to the base of the problem we are saying it without without equivocation it is that constitution that is the problem you want to solve every other thing you are told bad leadership bad uh, corruption uh, impunity all of those things are like uh, you know uh, flowing from the tap called the 1999 constitution so we invite ninas invite the the uh, organizers of that uh, uh, revolution all right, I'll stop this video here. This is the video that is just uh, reiterating what we told you guys before. Um, the man that was driving a car with no engine went and crashed everybody into the ditch. <laughs> and then you, the same group of people will come out and say, hey, this is your constitution. How do you guys even want to do it? Hey, you're going to you do it. But when it comes to nothing that will serve the purpose, you will show up in mass. When it comes to NSAS, you will show up in mass. When it comes to end, uh, bad governance, you show up in mass. The one common thing that can do the job and do it effectively, just like you are possessed by demons, you said, hell, hell to the no, no. I would never do it. I would rather die here of hunger and carry Russian flags and get shot for nothing. Imagine if you guys were talking about your constitution more than anything else. What is the meaning of embargo governance? Can you define it for us? What exactly are you guys trying to achieve? If you embargo governance and your constitution is there, there is no way for them to end it because your constitution is a bad governance. 
<laughs> that even if you bring Jesus Christ of Nazareth, eh, or Allah, or a man, I don't know who you want to bring. You bring them and you ask them to operate under that constitution. Brothers and sisters, you will go nowhere. We have warned you guys to lower the emotions. Because as emotions goes up, guess what happens? Your logic goes down. You will not be able to reason. You will not be able to reason logically. That's why we cannot be deceiving ourselves, doing things that will not add to our benefit or serve the purpose that we dearly see. Because we know what you guys want. We know what you guys want. We know what you're yearning for, but you refuse to learn. You refuse to sit down and understand how to totally solve this problem. All right.